नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् so your right palm on your left and neck head straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture and bring your attention to your body and feel your whole body as one take a moment and think yourself we gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique all the buddhas all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom so we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge in this moment with this sitting may my body become more comfortable may my breath be more smooth may no difficulties come to me may all the success come to me also think for a moment this is the last moment we spending in this very lifetime and detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts just try to remain in the present moment observing your inhalation and exhalation so in the beginning mentally relax your body step by step relax your head relax your forehead relax your eyebrows eyes relax your ears nose tongue relax your whole face muscles relax your teeth relax your tongue relax your mouth relax your throat relax your neck shoulders arms elbow forearms palms fingers fingertips relax your back muscles and relax your spine relax your chest and relax your abdominal muscles relax your lungs heart liver kidneys gall bladder relax your pancreas small intestine relax your large intestine relax your all abdominal organs relax your buttock relax your thigh knee calf muscles foot and toes relax your whole body muscles tendons ligaments bone bone marrow and whole skin release the tension in your mind and keep relax your face muscles so bring your attention to your body focus your mind in front of your nose and your upper lip area we observe our inhalation exhalation as it is so in the beginning develop unmovable posture intentional desirable attention and with that deep inhale exhale three times and find the sensation of the inhalation exhalation so now observe the sensation of inhalation exhalation don't try to make anything happen the way you want 
Don't try to inhale or exhale. Don't try to hold your breath. Don't try to count. Don't try to maintain. Just allow everything to happen as it is. Bring your attention and see if you can recognize the sensation of the inhalation, exhalation. Stay solid. Your mind go here and there, bring it back again and again. Observe the entire continuation of the inhalation, exhalation. Normally, this is the beginning, this, this is the middle, this is the end. From beginning to end, observe deeply. And follow the, the sensation of the inhalation, exhalation. Each and every inhalation, exhalation has its own way. Some inhalation become longer, shorter, heavy, soft, warm, cold. Just allow it to happen as it is. Accept it. It doesn't matter long inhalation or short or warm or cold. Just learn to accept. Let your body, mind and the breathing to settle down itself. If your mind disturbed, just recognize that everything thoughts. That everything thoughts not related with this time something in the past or the future. So don't keep follow that thoughts. Just stay with the moment following your inhalation, exhalation. Everything arising, existing and disappearing itself. Observe the very nature of the inhalation, exhalation. What you experience as inhalation, exhalation.
in a deeper level, there is no such a thing called inhalation or exhalation. There is no such a thing called self or me. There is nothing going out, there is nothing coming in. Everything happens in the same rhythm. We everything same like the the water in the same ocean. This entire universe in the same journey, in the same rhythm. Your life means not the past or not the future, it is just this moment. Even there is no moment to settle down. It is a current, just flow according to necessary conditions. There is nothing else. Whatever you become, you have to experience only this moment. So once the mind really experiences the beauty of the moment, there is no desire to become anymore. Once you drop the desire, there's nothing to hold, nothing to collect, nothing to grasp, in, nothing to harbor. When there is nothing to hold, there is nothing to let go. In that very moment, there's nothing come against you, there's nothing to go against, no resistance. When there's no resistance, no hatred, anger, jealousy, envy, that is where you experience through, liber through liberation. That is where you transform from this sansara to Nibbana. It is just the recognition of the moment. Bring your attention to your body. And experience this moment yourself. Appreciate yourself. 
you are so blessed to have this moment. Pay your gratitude to this life. And at the same time, in this very moment, there are a lot of people fighting with death, struggling with their life. There are a lot of people have fear, anxiety, depression, and there are a lot of people go through loneliness, helplessness, hopelessness, fighting with disease or the illness. Have a thought yourself to share your heart with them. May they come out of that struggle, disease, anxiety, depression. May they come out of that helplessness, hopelessness, loneliness. May they have the strength and courage to stand themselves and go through the situation and find the peace and harmony and wisdom within themselves. Not only them, share your heart with your loved ones. Your husband, wives, children, friends and family members, brothers, sisters, your beloved parents, your neighbors, your village, city, state, country, around this world. Not only that, us, as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars. Let your heart to shine from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest, wishing yourself. May all living beings be well and happy. So with that intention, mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away, already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. So visualize yourself and send it as a light forward. To your backside, to your left side, and to your right side, downward and upward. To all six directions at once. Like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy without any condition, without any limitation, without any judgment or without any resistance. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest, wishing yourself. May all living beings be well and happy.
से साधु 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 सो डियर धामा फ्रेंड्स वी ऑलवेज ट्राई अवर सेल्फ टू टू बी एडुकेटेड एंड एक्वायर नॉलेज लिटल बाय लिटल बट एट द सेम टाइम इन बुद्धिज्म इन 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 दिस मेडिटेशन पैट्रिस एंड मेनली we focus to understand our na very nature of this human body the very nature of the human mind because that is the the most important understanding you can spend the time to read books and you can listen to talks you can watch documentaries regarding many other things about the world nothing wrong with it but if we don't understand the mechanism of this human body and the mechanism of this human mind what is happening so that misunderstanding is what we call ignorance the ignorance means we don't know who we are and how this happening and then we start to think it is something else we start to take it in a different way and then and out of that misunderstanding whatever you do and then it become your karma in the beginning you misunderstand what is happening and regarding this body what this body and what is this mind who who i am and then you start to believe the self and with the self centered mind you start to feed to self and that is what we call emotion so once the emotions become high if you have the if that emotions arise if that emotions came out of the wrong understanding they hear the emotions nothing wrong you are you and me not the people to judge regarding emotions but we have rights to understand it so here we trying to understand something and so when the the thing is this if we ourselves misunderstand out of that misunderstanding so whatever arise in us it's not going to be right so then when the the emotions arise if you hold it to that emotions with the wrong view what is happening you start to react to that emotions which we call karma kriya so the the karma here here means actions you respond to inside you and once you respond to inside you what is happening it is start to create feedback and then you start to take that feedback as you also so it the the main important thing we develop a self centered mind believing this is me 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 i am that is why this all the greed hatred and the delusion arise inside us but if you look very carefully when you observe deeply the inhalation exhalation that is where your mind start to take you you start to recognize this is there is no that the the deeply that solid consciousness consciousness or solid self that without changing hold the moment no it's the moment by moment moment by moment everything change so then yourself you have to be very careful why with the wrong view if you start to do something and then what is happening you get the wrong result and once you have the wrong result again you 
go in the wrong way. So that is what we call the sansara journey. So through the meditation, the very first thing, it takes you to a moment to understand what is happening inside you and how this is happening inside you. You will see it. Only thing is you have to look for that. Once you start to look little by little, little by little, maybe for some time for people, they are trying to practice meditation and they want to understand this. They like to understand when they hear it, it they feel, oh, it is very good to understand. And sometimes even yourself, you came through many situations in life. If you look at your own life, and it is a kind of like a, the sutra. It's your whole life is like a Dhamma talk. If you can get into a right form. And it, it has everything there. And if you read it very carefully, your enlightenment is there. Your, all the wisdom you can see within your past experience. And you, you know that whatever the decision you took, thinking about, oh, this is me, I want to do this, I want to, and today, no longer with you. And it, it, that, that things change, the decision change, the, the, the mind you took that decision, it itself change, and even the, the body change. Everything change. It's in the moment by moment, moment by moment, changing. So don't, don't try to hold it to this change. That is itself called suffering. Suffering is not a big thing to understand. It is, you no need any kind of a secret mantra, mantra to understand suffering. What is suffering means? When you don't know the, the very nature of life, without knowing the real nature, you start to do something else. And then you doing something else, but the, the very nature of life is something else. When these two things come together, that is the moment you suffer. But if you understand the very nature of the life, and if you do something according to the, that nature, there is no way to suffer. There is no way to suffer. It's like when you add the water to water, there is no separation. But how about when you add the, when you throw the, the piece of rock to the water? So it's like that. So don't develop a resistance. Why this resistance itself happening? Because when you don't know the nature and you develop a current, go against it and it is something else. And then you are the one who is struggling. So understand it. Once you understand, it's going to be okay. You have, you have the tool. There is nothing in this world. Hide. It's everything in you. When you came to this world, you have all the wisdom inside. You have the, all the tools with you to have a very comfortable life as a human being. But the thing is, when you don't use it right way, it's nothing wrong with the anything or anybody. So that's why the meditation is a way, this kind of like you understanding how to use this, the tools, how to use your mind, how to use your wisdom to live in this life. And once you have that, and you will see. So whatever happened, it's okay. Why? Because anything cannot exist forever. Whatever happened, it has to go. It has to change. And whatever happened in the deeply, there is no one to experience. Why? Because the person also moment by moment is changed. But if you start to believe, I am, this is me, 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 me. Uh, then it is your responsibility to deal with it. So 
that's why little by little during this time you know uh, it's not by listening sometimes it is difficult to understand certain things but try yourself little by little practice meditation and listening nothing wrong with that but still remember to develop your mental capacity expand your mental capacity for that little bit to start to practice meditation now you know yourself how many mistakes you have done in your life how many wrong decision you took but in that very moment you thought that is the best decision so how you know then today so whatever the things that you going to do in your life so whatever in your head how you know that is exactly right or wrong so then remember expand your mental capacity for that start to practice little bit meditation it is for you that is the best that you can do to yourself so with that i going to tell you a little a story mm. our whole life is like a stories and sometimes this little stories help us to mm, and go through this life and may, to become better people ourselves there was a very poor oil seller in a city and every day he take little bit oil and go to the city in a start to sell for people and earn some money very very poor merchant and at the same time in the in that city there was a very rich young proud macho guy and what he does he always go around the city and show off and he he disturb to poor people harm to poor people and always he want the respect from others and he want or want the that uh, show off everywhere he goes he want to show how wealthy he is how good looking he is so like that so somehow what happened early in the morning this oil seller that day took some oil and went to the city and put it some in a, in a place that uh, there was uh, there were some people and it, it crowded place he thought he can sell some oil there and while he start to get in ready and cleaning this macho guy this young strong this wealthy man and appear to this place why because that was a very crowded place and he thought he can show off little bit and then he saw this uh, poor guy and he came little bit closer to this poor guy so what happened this poor guy was uh, closing uh, the, the cleaning the the table and little bit dirt the oil dirt went to that uh, young wealthy the person cloth and it got dirt so uh, this is a good reason now for him and he start to to shout to this uh, innocent merchant and telling uh, look at you you don't know who i am you know how uh, expensive this cloth and um, you put uh, dirt on it mm. so like that he start to blame now whole city start to come around and now this guy became more 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 aggressive and became more kind of like uh, proud and he start to tell you know who i am i am like this this i used to be here this much and who you are to uh, and put the dirt on my uh, cloth so like that he start to to shout and at the same time suddenly there was uh, another young person came to this place and he was kind of like a very charm innocent person and asked what's wrong what's what happened what what's wrong with this then this uh, the the macho guy came and uh, start to tell hey, you don't know who i am look this uh, person what he did to my cloth he put dirt on me now i can i cannot uh, wear this i have to wash this this is this much much expensive 
So like that now, he claiming the money from this innocent poor merchant. So I cannot anymore wear this cloth. So you have to pay for this cloth. And then the big struggle, fight, argument, the, the innocent that per merchant telling, I don't have money. I just start my day. I didn't earn anything yet. Now this, uh, the proud, this egocentric person knew this poor person cannot pay. And then again and again, he, he start to shout and he knew now everything on his side. And everyone watching. So then the, the guy that appeared to this place and asked, how much is this? Oh, this is five gold coin. So this young guy and put his hand to his pocket and took 10 gold coins and double the price and told, take it. And the, that guy, the macho guy was so happy and he took it. Why? Because he won the argument. And then what happened? Then that the guy who gave the money and told, you know, you told this, uh, your cloth worth five gold coins. So now I gave you 10 gold coins. So I doubled the price and you accept it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know, uh, I need that money. So then this guy told, your cloth belong to me now because I pay the price. Now anymore, this cloth not belong to you. So take off your cloth and give it to me. And in front of everyone, you know, he lost the argument. Not the argument. He lost his cloth. So my dear friends, remember in life, don't give hard time to innocent people. Don't give hard time to poor people. Even don't give hard time to anybody. And try to be nice to each other. No matter what, whatever the situation comes. And sometimes we don't know. Whatever, we don't know the nature of the other side. So, remember in life, never give a hard time and don't try to show off. You know what will happen if you keep doing like that way? Your life is going to become naked. So, remember, in front of others, be nice and be careful. Otherwise, your life will end being naked. So with that, I wish upon everyone. With this good Patrice, may all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patient courage, the understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. May everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may you attain supreme bliss of liberation and nibbana in this very lifetime. Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Sabbidyu vajjantu sabbarogo vinasatu mate bhavadvantarayo sukidiga yuko bhava Ittavata chami sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva numo dantu sabba sampati siddhiya sabbe bhuta numo dantu sabba sampati siddhiya sabbe satta numo dantu sabba sampati siddhiya idami punya kamang Asavakaya vango tu sabba dukkha pamunchatu and at the same time, I want to wish upon our Dr. Nishani. And uh, she's uh, helping us and at the same time for our new project. So today her birthday and she's in London. So I wish upon her to have a wonderful birthday. And may you be well, happy and peaceful. May all the uh, good health be with you. 
and stay safe and happy. And finally, may you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Okay, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay, bless you everyone.